As we come to the end of the book of Philippians, Paul has some, again, very encouraging words for us. He says, Therefore, my brethren, whom I love and long for, my joy and my crown, stand, stand firm thus in the Lord, my beloved. Then in verse 4, he says these famous words. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I will say, rejoice. Let all men know your forbearance, for the Lord is at hand. Notice these next words in verse 6. Have no anxiety about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will keep your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Do you have any anxieties in your life, any worries, any stresses, any difficult things you're dealing with? Paul comes along and he, he says here, let the anxiety go. Instead of, of filling your life with angst and anxiety, he says, bring those concerns to Jesus Christ. Bring them to God in prayer and trust him. Not that they will immediately go away. He doesn't say that. Not that everything will immediately resolve itself. He doesn't say that either. But here's what he says. If you bring them to God and trust in him, the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will keep your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. You see, it's that peace of knowing that, that God will get you through this difficulty today and the next one tomorrow and the next one the next day, that his grace is sufficient for you, that his peace will carry you through. That is what drives out anxiety. So today, let the stress go. Let the anxiety wash away. And instead, live in the peace of knowing that the God of the universe will get you through this and bring you out the other side victorious in Jesus Christ.